Hi guys, so I am back and I just wanted to make this video because I was going through my older comments, not my older comments, my new comments on my older videos and um, one of my videos is circulating and causing a, li a little bit of drama for me so I wanted to make a video about that. Um, I don't know if you guys remember back in May when I was looking for a job before I started working at Victoria's Secret. Um, I posted a video about how I didn't think I was going to get the job because I had tattoos. Now, that's all I was saying. I just don't think it's fair to be judgmental of people, and that was the whole point of the video. And everyone who was commenting on the video was being really, really judgmental and really rude. And I'm just going to read a couple comments that I got that I, I didn't really appreciate. So, um... <laughs> From, so, Powell, with two L's, S-T-U, um, said, socially acceptable enough, you just said you can't get a job because of your tattoos and piercings, you have this sense of entitlement, like you should be able to do whatever you want to your body and fuck everybody else, they have to accept it anyway. Only child, question mark? Like everybody said, you made your choice. No one else has to approve of it. Um, I'm not an only child. Uh, just, just first off. Um, I was actually in foster care and treatment for a long time, so I was around a lot of people, and I don't have a self, or I don't have a sense of self entitlement um, either. I'm really, I don't know. I'm really kind of timid and not narcissistic at all, so that bothered me a little bit, um, and yes, I make really random rash decisions to get tattoos that I don't necessarily want on me for the rest of my life, but I also think that by the time it's really going to matter, it won't matter anymore, if that makes sense. Like. People are always like, oh, you're going to look so disgusting when you're old and wrinkly and your tattoos are wrinkly and old and gross looking and you're going to look old anyway, right? Like, I'll be wrinkly one day. I'm going to be wrinkly and ugly or I'm going to be wrinkly and ugly with tattoos and ugly. Like, it's just, it's the way I look at it, I don't think I'm going to be less attractive because my tattoos are wrinkling along with the rest of my body. Um, and then the one that I got yesterday, let me go back to this, the one that I got, oh, three, okay, um, from fucking Lana Bean says, yeah, that's why most people think out their tattoos. And most shops refuse to tat people in visible areas, unless you're already pretty much covered with ink. I'm sure you're good with jobs. Are you 18? I have been a hiring manager and wouldn't hire you solely because, BC, excuse me, um, you are not well-spoken and you are not bright enough to have the foresight to purchase clothing which covers your ink. Can you get a brain transplant? That might help, but I doubt it. Now... If you knew me, like, in real life, or if you went to school with me, if you were in high school with me, if you were any of my college classes, I'm really not unintelligent, and it's a bit absurd to hear anyone even say that about me. <laughs> um, yes, I'm not the most eloquent speaker. I'm a writer, so it's not necessary for me to speak eloquently, but it's, and I guess it's, it's the only thing you guys see of me, so, um, is my speaking, and my inability, okay, this camera is all, like, weird, I don't know why it's not, somewhere. sorry, anyways, okay, so I say like a lot, and I say um a lot, and I don't necessarily use my extensive vocabulary when speaking, um, I also don't have a lot of very smart friends, so I don't have the opportunity to have intelligent conversation with very many people very frequently, so that contributes to it a little bit. Um, I'm also almost incapable of compartmentalizing when I'm trying to look at myself and make sure everything's right. It's unless I wrote a script and read it verbatim, you guys 
aren't going to have me speaking to you in an intelligent way ever, I don't think. So, and that's not really what my channel is about anyway. So just to comment on my lack of intelligence when there is no lack is kind of just rude. I don't know. I think it's mean. Um, and this isn't just because I, I want to brag. I graduated when I was 15 years old. I didn't get my GED. I graduated. I took 32 credits in one and a half years of high school. So I'm 20. I graduated in 2007, in May of 2007. Now, um, <clears throat> I got very, very, very good grades. I was in National Honor Society. Um, I'm in the Honor Society in college. I've gotten good grades um, so far. This is my sophomore year of college, and I've been doing good. Um, I... I don't know. I can read a 700-page book in a day. Um... I have received many scholarships for my writing capabilities. Um, I don't know what else to say. I got a 31 on my ACT. Um, but I'm not stupid. So, <laughs> thanks. Um, and it's really embarrassing for me to realize how stupid I must appear. So, uh, anyways... Thank you, uh, fucking Lana Bean. You're really, really just a precious gem. Um, and then from Festive Phone 1979. You don't see smart people with tattoos, do you? Professors, generals, presidents, prime ministers, composers. It's a low-class, self-destructive thing. The human body is a beautiful thing. Would you graffiti on the mountains of ancient Rome or the pyramids? That's deep. Festive Phone 1979. It's deep. Um, I don't think having tattoos is low class. Um, or, well, I mean, it's self-destructive, and even from a religious standpoint, I don't agree <laughs> agree with getting your body tattooed, but I have tattoos, so that just is whatever. Um, I, I was raised to think that being tattooed and having tattoos is wrong, but I don't care anymore. It's not a big deal. I think that um, this is my body, and it's not anyone else's body, so it really just, like, does it really fucking matter what I do to my body to anyone? Like, to anyone looking at me and to people who are trying to hire me for a job to my mom or my friends, like, when they look at me, that is just a part of me. It's not me. So it really just, I don't know, it it shouldn't fucking matter at all. I don't understand, and that makes me really, really angry when people talk like that. Oh, getting tattoos is so stupid. You're just destroying your body. Whatever. Thank you. I don't think I'm destroying my body. My body is working perfectly fine. So, having a tattoo has not affected my ability to live to my fullest capability. I feel really stupid making this. Like, I almost don't even want to post it because this is just ridiculous. People are ridiculous. Um, uh, na -na 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 Um, P.S. With all the jobs avail, it shouldn't be that hard to find a job. Really? You are dumb, and I love that you admit that you shouldn't have gotten the ink. Did I say dumb? Ugh. Okay. See? People just calling me dumb. I don't... <laughs> the only reason I regret getting this tattoo is because it's causing me so much fucking drama. <laughs> I hate everyone. I don't know. I don't want to be getting sick, and I just would like to point out to those people who are refusing to listen to me via comments, um, I got called back the next day, hired on in prospect of being a manager, 
Um, I left the company. I left Limited Brands Incorporated because I got offered a better job. I got recruited um, for a higher paying, higher ranking position uh, at Charlotte Roos, where I work now, and I am a manager there. So, um, you guys are just cool, and I really appreciate all the negativity. It's awesome. Um, so it's, I might just take that video down because, um, it was coming from a place of myself being insecure and being angry and not confident and, It's not that way anymore, and I feel differently about the whole situation, so. Huh. And, oh, since this is a tattoo video, um, and people always ask me to show them my tattoos and piercings, and I'll show you the ones that I can without being dirty in, in the next video I make, so. I love you guys. I love the ones of you, at least, that aren't assholes to me. Um, I will talk to you later. Bye.